software. First, we need to make sure we download the Phoenix Suite 1.0.6. This is the version we want. And also make sure we get uh, the kernel and uh, the, these two files are for the root OS file systems. Before we work on the soft side, first make sure we apply a 5 volts 2 amp powered uh, power supply to the DC port. And also we connect PC Duna's OTG port to the computer through a micro USB port. And all the downloading happens through this OTG port. Installed the Phoenix Suite. Let's try to launch it. Phoenix Suite, Phoenix Suite. Okay, here we go. We got Phoenix Suite. Let's go to firmware. Select the image. We go to PC Duna 3. The A20 kernel. Looking for the keywords kernel, and this is what we want. Open. Now let's hit the upgrade button. Into update mode. Let's hold this up. Uh, let's hold this upgrade button, and at the same time, we push this reset button. Okay. Now on the computer, on the computer, we will see something like uh, does Mandarin format ma mandatory format? Yes, yes. And I click OK. Now it says upgrading firmware 3%. Let's just wait. Okay, we are done with the kernel part. Hit OK. Now let's look. Now let's move to the PC Duna part. We plug in this HDMI. And uh, power cycle this drive. Let's power cycle PC Duna. And unplug this thing. And let's unplug this thing first, then power cycle PC Duna. Look at the monitor. Boot to the Atom icons. Okay. Now it says search update.sh from the USB drive. Let's let's take a USB drive. Take a USB drive, insert on my computer, and uh, let's copy. Let's copy these two files, which is the PC Duna three for SA and the update. Copy these two files. To my USB. I got some files here. I should delete it first. And after the co copy is done, then I put this USB dongle to the PCDL3 to continue the installation. Two files, two lootfs files are successfully copied to the USB flash. I'm going to add a USB hub so I can use my keyboard. Okay, this is for my wireless keyboard. Okay. Okay, the monitor. It's all because it has been too long time. It's already entered into power saving mode. Press the button. You can see it's still asking me for the USB disk. Okay. Plug in. You can see immediately it's updating. Yes, it says it will take about 20 minutes to finish. Okay, we will come back after 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes, now it says update finished. Now we can remove the USB flash and the power cycle the PC Duna. Ooh, USB flash. It says move. 
And then this. Vroom. This. Move the... Boat. You can see that uh, the booting log has been changed to atom, and uh, there is no penguins anymore. So after booting. We can see get all the custom software loaded. That's it.